princess, and I'm a lounge singer. I'm Jamie, and I fly airplanes. We decided to take a year off and go sailing. But thanks to COVID, now we spend our life on Jupiter. Welcome aboard and join us on our circumnavigation. What's well, cooking good looking? <laughs> Cabbage, Cabbage, bacon, and the eggs are coming. Oh yeah. So we've anchored now at the island of May Row, which is three or four or five miles away from Tobago Cays. And we come here first because we need internet to upload a video tomorrow, so that's the priority. Um, hopefully we can go ashore and find some Wi-Fi um, because the data here is very expensive and it takes forever it's really slow so later today we'll go try find a wi-fi source and then we can maybe go for a coffee or a beer tomorrow there <laughs> and upload but it's a nice comfy bay four other yachts here Lovely big beach. Oh yeah. Ready? Tobago Cays is one of the most stunning places in the whole of the Caribbean. It is well known for its crystal clear waters and the abundance of turtles. And we were really keen to see both. Are we going to snorkel or what? <laughs> so I'm done putting sunscreen. I have sunburn. And we're going to go see turtles today. You excited? I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited. Want to see turtle? Go see turtle. Before I could even get in the water, the National Parks guys turned up to collect their fees. But it wasn't long before I was in there with Princess. And of course, the first job is always check the anchor.
princess just loved these flying saucers. I've never seen her use so much energy chasing after these guys. What's the name of your restaurant then? Romeo Lobster restaurant. Romeo Lobster. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You, are you, are you will get hurt if you touch no, them no. somewhere? They're not gonna yeah, bite yeah. you? Yeah, if you put your hands below because this is where the muscles is, they flap. So if your hands is anywhere below here, these can cut you. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is the, the way you handle yeah. them? Yeah, or you hold it by the back like where I'm holding here. Um, this is how we hold by the back. Wow, this is a baby. Yeah, this one is a smaller one. Aww. Aww, so cute. <laughs> so we're here now in Tobago Caves. This is um, an island where there's some restaurants that you can order food and drinks. You can see a lot of butterflies in there. It's so beautiful here. What you doing? Oh, so you know how to pronounce that one? No. Harun. <laughs> Harun. Something like that. Harun. Harun. Yeah. Harun. Morning exercise in the beach. Gotta do something. Go for long periods of time. With just walking around the boat, it's not enough. And because I've got a, a bad disc in my back, I feel weak in my hips. Really need to move regularly. Actually, that's when my back got so bad, wasn't it? In lockdown, mm -hmm. we're not allowed to go ashore. And also in quarantine, and we're not allowed to go ashore in Grenada. Just walk. Just walk. Strange world when you're not allowed to walk. <laughs> It's 
So we are on Petit St. Vincent, but we're next to it, we're not on it, we're next to it. And this is the most southern island in the Grenadines. In fact, right there is uh, part of Grenada, so we could take a dinghy across if we wanted to. Well, of course we wouldn't because that would be illegal. Anyway, we, we dropped the hook here. Where it, just here, this area in front, there's a resort just here, but it's closed down because of COVID. But this area here, it's only two or three meters deep and it's full of turtles and we went snorkeling. And yeah, they're really sort of relaxed around us. So that's cool. And this is what, our second week into St. Vincent Grenadines. And we'll probably only spend another two weeks uh, to check in. We had to go all the way to the northern point of the Grenadine chain, which is St. Vincent, check in, do our PCR test. And now we've come all the way south again, such that we're just, Grenada is just here. And we stopped places on the way down as well. Now we've seen what we've got to see. Now yeah, we can spend the next two weeks taking our time, work our way back up to St. Vincent. Probably clear out then. Uh, we could renew and stay another month. But uh, what is it now? End of September. So October, they say, hurricane season is over. October, it's over. But November, remember, could get a out of season hurricane still but into October I'm feeling fairly confident we'll keep going north and ultimately Antigua is the next Caracom island that we can stop and, and not get tested and not do quarantine so thinking Antigua is probably our next destination so we'll just see how it goes over the next two weeks. Any new information comes to light. Slowly move our way north as the hurricanes die away. And it's hard to keep up the rum supplies for these sunsets. But anyway. We're done swimming with the turtles in Tobago Keys. That's the Palm Island, and now we're going to Union Island. Stay tuned for next week on Life on Jupiter, when the captain underestimates the power of one particular storm. We just got a, a gust, 36 knots or so, all of a sudden with our full, full sails up.